Unpause. Crack open window. Even though the window is broken, you decide to open it. You slide the lower pane upward, but the whole window frame seems to slip from its anchored position. The window comes off the wall altogether. In closer examination, it seems to be a false window with a picture inside it. The picture is lit from within, sort of like a sophisticated light box. Put window down. The window slash light box is plugged into the wall behind it. The false window was concealing a large safe. Place false window in inventory. The false window is way too big to carry around, stupid. But you did find a curtain rug just under the top edge. You never did get around to putting up grapes. Then again, it never did make much sense to cover up the only source of light in your office. You put the curtain rug in your inventory. Use numbers from sheet of paper to open the safe. You examine the heavy-duty safe. You must be keeping some serious loot in here. Enter the combination. You enter the sequence of numerals from the piece of paper. The combination works. However, instead of opening the safe, the dial has simply popped open to reveal a keyhole. It looks like it requires a key that looks more like a house key or a car key, rather than one of those old-fashioned looking keys which tend to be littered all over video games, and which you are quite sure you have never once seen lying around in your office. You don't need this piece of paper anymore. You discarded the piece of paper. Shoot safe. Your key is out of bullets. Get cinder block and phone receiver out of false window. It's a long way down. You'll have to think of a way to reel them in, if you want them back. Unplug the window to conserve electricity. You unplug the false window, which is probably burning through electricity with its powerful fluorescent bulbs and strange spatial warping properties. You're not made of money. The room goes dark. Look through the eyes of the clown. With the room darkened, you should not be able to see through the painting. Dad looks. It's another urban mural. This one is particularly unpleasant. You have a feeling it might have been placed there just to annoy you. You hear a voice from the other side. It's hard to tell what it is saying, but you think you can make out the words toots and sweet for it now and then. It's hard to tell how far away the mural is. The clown's eyes are so close together, you can only see through one at a time, limiting your depth perception. You wonder what kind of freak this painting was made for. If only you had some sort of thin, extendable implement to poke through the hole to tell how far away it is. Push the curtain rug through one of the clown's eye holes. You feel that the curtain rug bump into something not too far into the wall. Get a look at the unobstructed view. It is the adjacent office. The man at the desk is talking to a client about some sort of problem which requires sleuthing. It is your lonesome arch nemesis, a stick. He is always scooping you on the best cases. That portly son of a bitch makes your blood boil. Shout insults at a stick through the clown painting. You shout, but he cannot hear you. The walls may be too thick, or he is just engrossed in his conversation. It sounds like he is arguing over a misunderstanding about the nature of the services provided by busts are us and an alarmingly large bill for those services. In the darkness, you stub your toe in the false safe cover. You utter more profanity. Plug the damn window back in. Inflated electric bills or not, you are getting sick of stubbing your toe on things. Drop kick the door. The door bears the brunt of the bottled up shitstorm brewing within. Examine aftermath of shitstorm. The key which you can't actually see and don't actually know is there, jingled a bit. You'll have to throw something heavier against the door, if you want to knock it loose. Throw cinder block at the door. You take the cinder block, which was formerly your fort's front step. You decided you could stand to part with it, since you've been stubbing your toe on it constantly, since you built it. Clunk. The key still won't jingle loose. It looks like you'll need to throw an even heavier object at the door. Check out what's on the false safe. Since Ace seems so intent on being able to see into your office, it looks like you put up something for him to look at. Take the note. You stashed the note to a stick. 
Investigate coffee machine looking object in the corner. It appears to be some kind of heating unit to keep the coffee hot. It looks heavy. Pick it up. It is quite heavy. And hot. You contemplate throwing it at the door, but something occurs to you first. You don't want to knock the keys in the floor and not be able to reach them. Re, the sunglasses fiasco. You'd better be prepared to catch them in something, after you throw it. Use it, as a key net, then throw coffee maker. You resolve to catch the key with your head. You let the ponderous lines fly. Clunk. Catch the key. With quick reflexes, you shove your head through the hole in time to rescue the key. Pull that back in. You got the safe key. And you can't think of a safer place for it than where it is now. Playback message in the reel-to-reel. You keep the hidden recording device in your office to record anything said that might be incriminating. Unfortunately, the only incriminating statements it recorded were likely made by yourself. Swap the safe key with the candy corn. Your prized confections will be safer here. The recording tape begins to unspool while you're preoccupied. Pete threw the clown eyes into a stick's office. You remember you're pissed off at a stick, and in addition to which, you haven't been able to pee once in the 13 and a half hours you've been locked in your office. You decide to exact revenge by unleashing a torrent of urine through one of the painting holes, preferably, while he is spying on you. Unfortunately, your aim isn't that good and you don't even come close to getting key through the holes. The painting is now a smelly mess. Use the key in the safe. You unlock the safe with the safe key. The safe opens to reveal a hidden room. You don't need the safe key anymore, so you discard it. Wrap yourself in recording tape like a mummy. Wow, what a fucking waste of time. Barge into the room with wild abandon. You have completed chapter one of Problem Sleuth. Please insert disc 2 of 20 2.